To differentiate myself from information you can pick up elsewhere, I'll fast forward through the basic digital coloring process because I'd like to focus your attention on my approach to the overall digital coloring process. I like to choose three or four main colors based on what color the material would likely be as I imagine if it were real. Then I gradient the color, not with just different light levels, but different tones in the color swatch. So I chose red as a main color. A darker version might be a kind of purple or brown, whereas a lighter may be cream, orange or pink. See, if the material is pink, a really dark shadow, I could use purple and it would still look realistic, even though they're two different colors. You do, if you want a volume effect in your cartoons, have to think about shadow, highlight, reflected light, a material's texture, and strong light like blackouts and whiteouts for accent silhouettes. But in addition to grades of light, I like to first cover my grades of volume, i.e. shape, which has more to do with mass and gravity than the direction of light. It is in grades of color describing the shape of the element where you define the three-dimensional effect of volume. Light then gives it life. Now I'm still learning my three-dimensional technique, but I hope you can learn as much from my lessons as from my mistakes. Here are a few samples of my previous digital coloring projects. This is Ned. He's an alien cartoon character I penciled, and now I want to color him in digitally. I cut and paste the image, keep the image's original line's top layer, and create a bottom blank white paper layer. Make sure you're on full CMYK color mode, and if you have to change it, don't merge the layers. The important part, change the lines layer to multiply, and create all color layers in between the paper and the lines layer. Between your paper layer and your multiplied lines layer, you will start adding color layers. On your first one, choose a somewhat dull color, I usually use a green. Go around the entire edge of the image, painting the line but staying on or just inside the line. Use an eraser a lot if you need to, like I do because I, I use a mouse. 